advantage for Utah. I'm northbound, dark green and colored Chevrolet Cavalier, four-door, two female occupants. Trooper Sterling Clark chases down two women fleeing at over 100 miles an hour. The suspects both have prior records for drug possession transporting. It looks like the driver, Karen Hungate, and her daughter, Melissa, are up to their old tricks. The mom barrels through a construction zone. But Trooper Clark sticks close behind. She's tapping her brakes at me. He pulls alongside and spots the daughter in hysterics. She stuck her fingers out the window and was yelling, help. Help me, help me. This may be a one-woman show. And it's about to get a lot more dangerous. They're going to get traffic left on our way. She hits triple digits, blasting into oncoming traffic. <laughs> Trooper Clark is forced to hang back. I thought if I terminate, then she might go back south. So I just stayed behind her just to see if she was going to turn around and go back south again. The tactic works. The woman drives onto the right side of traffic, where deputies are waiting with spike strips. Okay, don't run. I think took the front right tire. But the mad mother's will to escape is still intact. We're exiting 257. We're taking 257. <laughs> to Trooper Clark's horror, she speeds into a packed parking lot. She started heading in the, to the front of the grocery store where all the people are going in at the main entrance of the store. The daughter sees her chance and bails out. But mom still has no intention of stopping. She takes another lap around the parking lot. It will be her last. Clark and others surround the car, but she refuses to give up. We had no choice but to start breaking windows. Another deputy fires a taser. And finally, Karen Hungate is in custody. It's no wonder why she ran. When we searched the vehicle, we found heroin, cocaine, and meth. The daughter may have been an unwilling passenger, but she's not free of guilt. They were charged with 72 counts of reckless endangerment and possession, uh, intent to distribute, uh, suspended license, and DUI. It will be a while before this mother-daughter duo is allowed to roam free. And considering the damage they did when they were, Utah police can rest easy.